Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about SQL for loops. So without wasting any time further, let's proceed with the video. SQL for loops iterate over all of the S object brackets returned by a SQL query. The syntax of SQL for loop is like this where you will write down the for, you will have a temporary variable, then a colon and your SQL query itself. And then you have a code block. Now this SQL query will result into records and this temporary variable will hold each record at a time. So the data type of the temporary variable depends on the object on which you are performing the SQL query. SQL for loop differ from standard SQL statement because of the method they use to retrieve S objects. Now, we usually prefer the SQL for loop when memory is at a premium. So generally what we do is we write down a SQL query, hold the result in a list of S object and then iterate over that list of S object. But with the SQL for loop, we directly iterate over the SQL query. So when memory is more important, then in that situation, we will prefer SQL for loop. But when the CPU time is more important and memory is not that much important, then in that situation, we will create a list assignment. That means we will assign the returning records of the SQL query inside a list and then we will iterate over the list. So it's pretty much of talk and now it's time to see the things practically. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to stay updated with proper Salesforce tutorials and want to watch more tutorials, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Also, if you have thoughts or question, drop it in the comments. I would love to hear from you and promise I will read every single one. Thank you so much guys. And now you can proceed with the video. Hey guys, welcome to the practical session of SQL for loop. So generally when we are writing down any SQL query, we use a for loop to iterate over the result of it. So what we actually do is, suppose this is the SQL query. Now for this SQL query, what we need to do is we need to have a list of account and then we will iterate over these list of account. So each element of this list is a single account object. So we will iterate over this list of accounts and we will have it in a singleton account variable. And then we can fetch the values of these fields, right? So let me just make a small change over here so that I can print all the values coming from these fields. So that's how we actually deal with it, right? Now you have already seen output many times. Let me still show you that you will get individual records in individual lines, right? Now, SQL for loop helps you to write down the whole SQL query inside the for loop itself. So you need not to create a separate list of accounts. Instead of that, you can directly write down this whole query over here and the result of it will be definitely list of records or list of accounts. So each account from the result will be handed over to this temporary account variable and then it will work on it. So let me remove this and if I show you the output of this, it will give you exactly same output, right? This type of for loops are known as SQL for loops. That marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.